welcome to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. On this episode, we look at Rural Constable Marlon Tammy, aka Kaku, aka Renato Adams. Big ups to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you wish to see more videos like these. Growing up as a boy on the countryside of the island, Marlon Tommy always wanted to be a police officer. He would idolize the police. Some said that his favorite game was always police and thief. And at Christmas time, Marlon Tommy always wanted water gun and handcuffs. And if he didn't get them, he would cry like a pig. Allegations are that Marlon Tommy always stayed next to the station, watching the police from head to toe. Watch how they conduct their businesses. It was said that Marl and Tommy had sent in some applications to join the police force. But those applications were never answered. So one day, one of his police friends told him, Marlon, the guardsman service is recruiting. You'd have a uniform just like the police. Marl and Tommy say, what do you mean? Uniform, big boy, staff, badge and handcuff. So the guardsman recruited Marlon Tommy and took his application. And Marlon rose up in the ranks very fast. You see, Marlon kept his uniform as clean as the police. And Marlon did his duties and was never late his life and never took a day off. So they gave Marlon a big position in Young Island as head guardsman. And Marlon performed very well. Rumors started to circulate. Said they were gonna form a new organization, the Banana Police, Rural Constables. So Marl and Tommy left the guardsman and he went for the opportunity because Marl and Tommy always wanted to be a big boy in the station. So Marl and Tommy did not wait. He took the first opportunity that was given to him. Marlon applied and he got the job. Marlon did his job top. <laughs> Even if a pig was stolen 6 o'clock, Marlon was there 15 past 6. One time, them say a man the thief a pig. And Marlon went to do the investigation. And when he arrived at the man's house, Marlon not hear no pig, him not see no pig. So the man say, him show what the next man thief him pig. So Marlon was eating a banana and he squash it up in his hand and throw it in the air and the pig run out and back. Weeks, weeks, weeks. Marlon say you're under arrest, case solved. One time again, police did want a bad boy. And them send Marlon go hang off the boy. The boy hit Marlon like 20 slap on, and Marlon now release the boy shot non tall. Marlon grab and pan the boy and the other police them running now and handcuff the boy. It have a bad man who often put up a resistance against the police. Anytime the police wanted him, they sent Marlon forward to collect the blues horse. And when the boy get tired, so them get the boy. The ladies in the community adored Marlon. Cause if Marlon did a work for say twelve hundred dollars. You yeah, give the woman them a thousand out of there. Allegations are that Marlon did meet a girl from Jamaica on Facebook. And Marlon has sent dollars pan dollars. Never see the girl. And the girl has sent picture from Pornhub to Marlon. It is said that some men did jealous Marlon because he performed his duties very well. And they hacked Marlon's Facebook profile and sent it off and said he dissed the PM. But Marlon was smart, cause remember before he became a police, he was shining boots, as we call it, licking boots. So Marlon went to the PM's office and he apologized and said that his profile was hacked. And the PM forgave him. A second time again it happened. And he apologized again. I bet if you look on Facebook, you would see like a hundred profiles under the name Marlon Tommy with the same picture. After a while, they decided to get rid of all the rural constables, but they kept Marlon and another lady. Someone then again tried to set up Marlon Tommy. But the bigger head said they had enough of this profile hacking thing. So they disbarred Marlon Tommy. Marlon Tommy can be seen around now working construction. But the police often come for him to do raids. I believe the SOP of prisons should recruit Marlon Tommy. He would make a good prison officer. 
Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more interesting videos like these. We have hotter topics coming up. I want to just take this time out to big up all the man them who are on the van. I don't know how to do it every day. All the dollar van men. Just respect. Remember, we are about supporting small businesses. Big up every driver, every conductor, every hustler. 